Molly Crew, Merry Go Round. Such a great song off the Too Fast for Love album. This is for Robbie Slim. We're covering the whole Too Fast for Love album, CBT lesson, double flat tuning. And uh, yeah, I figured I'd start that with the uh, part of the solo, which is very catchy. So we're coming in on this song. We've got four pages of tabs, but we've got some really nice chords by Mick. <laughs> in 3d 2g 1b you're gonna palm mute this it's on the clean but you know up the the gain on the clean a little bit so it's not so clean sounding he's got an acoustic overdub with this which is really catchy sounding sounds cool but our, we're palm muting everything except for a few notes uh, start on the D string the best way to memorize this is D string and then B G D twice and then the B that's the pattern. It's an eight note pattern. You're going to do the same thing over A minor chord now. So 2D, 2G, and 1B. Same thing. Next one. Just beautiful chords. Um, same thing, but barred first fret, D, G, and B. And we have our 2G. A G, open G, 3B, and 3E. Do that same thing, but it's consumed within the last three strings starting on the open G string and that one uh, ends on the B string then 3D 2G and 3B same picking from there go to the first fret G keep everything else the same so Okay, so C major 3A, 1B, and 2D. Now, this isn't a full pattern. Go A, B, G, D, B, G. And then 3, 4 on the low E, no palm mute. So. Uh, open A. Palm muted, 1B, 2G, 2D, all palm muted, and BG. So it's a short one like the C major, right? Open A, 2A, no palm mute, right back to the C major, same way. 3, 4E, no palm mute, or that's, this one is palm muted. D and you'll go right back start it over second time no star which is the that part okay so if we were running through this a second time then we continue on with the A minor okay then 39 seconds in Section 1A, one time, stop at the pause. So you actually will play as it's running through. That part there, you do play. Um, a little heavier distortion here now. A little pick scrape and a slide. Um, like uh, fifth fret over to an F power chord. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven palm mutes, one no palm mute. Then third and fifth fret. 
one, two, three, four, one, two. So six times, palm muted. And then down up, no palm mute, and then an open E. So let's think of that like a triplet. And then uh, upstroke 570A. So. Oops. Think of it like this on your strum. You're going up, rest. Up, down, 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 up. Down, up, open four on the E. So you have. Rest. 4E, 7A. Up, down, 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 up. With the open three at the end. See what I mean? So. And then check this out, Robbie. Big old stretch. 3E, 7A. So we got to lower the thumb. It's the same thing. Up, down, 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 up, down. And then open two on the end. And then 2E, 5A. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. That last down is the third fret on the E. It's. Then you're starting it over. Second time, no star. So you're coming up on the. And instead of playing that 2E in context there, play it, finish it through 2 5 on the back side there. 3 4, 1 3, 3 4, open E. Then it goes right back. You'll see that in your tabs. At 126 timestamp, section 1A, one time, stop at star, all that stuff self explanatory. The next new part's 2 minutes and 11 seconds in. It's this solo that you saw me introing with. And uh, let's raise this a hair. And we're going to go 5, 7, 9 on the G. It's alternate picked five times. So because it's an odd number, Robbie, we end up going down, up, down, up, down, up, right? Before that cycle repeats. Then an open G. Keep the first finger down the whole time. I got my thumb low. Then on the G, four, five, seven twice. And then four, seven, seven vibrato. Okay, moving along. Same concept starts again. Two, four, five. Five times. Open G. Back to four, five, seven, two times. Four, seven, seven, vibrato. So you went through this. Okay. And you'll have a five times separated by open, two times, uh, and then three notes, vibrato. That's kind of your concept. Then he takes everything there. That takes us to 220 timestamp. It's the same thing, but it's an octave higher. <clears throat> you can readjust fingering, whatever you need to do. But it's 17, 19, 21. I forgot to put the five times. That's very important. Um, yeah, and then the open. So 16, 17, 19, two times. 16, 19, 19, vibrato, so 14, 16, 17, five times, the open G, then back, 16, 17, 19, two times, and then 16, 19, 19, vibrato, so you have, that's your, uh, your placement, 228, 20B, we're going to bend a whole step, and then 17th fret high E, up, down, up. So, then you're going to go 20E bend, 17E, twice. Okay.
And uh, yeah, you're gonna want to follow that picking too. So 20 on the B, two bends. No vibrato, like I was thinking it was, but no vibrato. 15 E, slide to 17 with the index. Then go. Um, go 19 on the uh, E, hammer 20, pull 19. And then 20 B. 19 E, up, down, up. So, twenty-two E, two bends, vibrato the second one. So it's, oops, two thirty-two time stamp. You're gonna go twenty fret on the high E to twenty-two. Is it a 22? Yeah. So we're going to go. Probably third or fourth or second and third. I'd go probably third, fourth. And then 20 pull 17 twice. And then 20 E or 20 B, 17 E, 20 B, bend, rest. So it's. Technically it's. Mick did this pattern a lot, it's out of the 6 note minor pentatonic. Start with an upstroke 17E, down on 20B, pull 17, to 20G down, 17B up, 20 pull 19G. Okay, top of page 4. And then you're gonna go 17, 19, pull 17, 19, 17, D, G. Then 19, pull 17, D, 19, 17, A, D. So you have basically this idea. Little rests in there. So, but technically, that extra start note, right? 18 slide 17 on the A. So. And then on the A, 15, 17 slide to 19. And then 17 D, 19 A, bend vibrato. Step and a half. Or a whole step there. Um, 237. Third fret E. This is the melody part of this. So it'll go. Love that part. So, 3rd fret E, slide to 5, rest, slide down, and then go 5 E, 2, 3 on the A, pull off to 2, 5, 4 E, vibrato. 3, slide to 5 E, kind of start it over, but end with a 3 instead of a 4. Slide, and then 3, slide back up on the E. Same thing, but end with a two. So you end with, that's the concept, that end note is what kind of colors that. Five E, two, three, pull two on the A, and end on the five E, and that's it for that. Then, 
246, it's section 1B from the double stars two times. Section 1B is this. Well, it's the part that builded with the that, but you're taking it from the from the um that whole thing. Two times. Um no star. So it's just that part. And then you're gonna end with two five EA. In place of the instead of that, you end up going two five ring EA. One three open E. <laughs> and I just unplugged the the cord. And it was almost done. 306 beautiful chords here man from the D string down three two three one so we'll strum that repeat it but bar the first fret so it's three one three one 